one, two, three. It's time for the Super Great Owl Movie Time Lightning Round. Super Great Owl Movie Time is when I recommend a movie to you every Wednesday that you watch on Netflix, Redbox, Amazon, anything at home so you can relax. <laughs> and for this week's Super Great Owl Movie Time, I am recommending I Love You, Philip Morris, which you can find on Netflix. Now, I Love You, Philip Morris was directed by the team behind Bad Santa, Crazy Stupid Love. I Love You, Philip Morris is the incredibly interesting and impressive true story of Stephen Russell. He was a married man with children and a wife who was also a cop and he had found he had been lying to himself and came out as a gay man, became a con man, went to prison and fell deeply, deeply in love with the Philip Morris of this movie. And that's just the introduction to the plot. The plot continues to go many interesting places from there. Playing the lead role of Stephen Russell is Jim Carrey in one of his more outstanding roles that I've seen of his. He plays the role a bit more understated than I was expecting and uh, all the more effective for it. He still remained funny, uh, but also brought a lot of emotion to the role and a lot of punch where it needed to be. And playing his love interest, Philip Morris, is Ewan McGregor, who I think needs to come out of retirement or come out of wherever he's hiding. Seeing this movie, it's a few years older, but it just was a very, very nice refresher for how nuanced and effective he is. He's endearingly sweet and sincere throughout the entire thing. And one of the nicest things I felt about the entire movie is that uh, with a lead actor like Jim Carrey and the setup, and the plot as it's told to you kind of comes off like a comedy and it plays that way to some extent but they really take the romantic moments seriously and the emotional moments seriously as the movie progressed i continued to be more and more impressed at how uh, honest and sincere they took the entire situation where each new thing that came up could have been zanier and zanier than the last and going off of that point I think this movie was a bit ahead of its time portraying its gay character seriously. Their romance never feels false or the butt of any joke throughout the whole movie as far as I was concerned and they both take each of their performances very seriously it seems. They have lovely moments of quiet heartfelt emotion between one another and times where they're fighting and everything feels very honest. Through and through, I just kept getting more and more impressed at how real and sincere they made everything and how much detail they put into each scene and each situation, where it very, very easily could have ended up becoming a very zany, silly, to some extent, maybe offensive comedy. The directing team of Glenn Ficarra and John Requa have gone on to do very nice things, and I can see why with this being one of their very first projects. They're very talented and very nuanced in the way they deal with their characters and their situations. And I Love You, Philip Morris is a perfect example of that. And time, I don't have a watch. You can find I Love You, Philip Morris on Netflix and Super Great At Home Movie Time is over. Thank you guys for watching. I love you very much. This is, as always, The Great Big Picture Show. I'm Spencer Howard Belden. Please like, share, and subscribe everything you see with this face on it. Like, share, and subscribe everything you see with this face. Please make sure to have a good day. Please have a good night. And go hug someone that you haven't hugged in a while. That you've been wanting to hug. You've been thinking about hugging. Give them a hug. They've been waiting for it. They've been thinking about it too. Now is the opportunity. Seize the moment. Seize the time right now. Alright? Because I'm going to bed.